To create a goal, under Sales, select Goal. And then to create a new goal, we can select New. Now this is the form to create a new goal. And to start, I'm going to name this goal Christina's Q3 Goal. And I will assign myself as the owner. Now the goal metric will define what unit the goal is measured by. I'm going to go ahead and select Revenue, but first I will double click it to open the form. Now within Revenue, there are two roll-up fields, which are the actual and estimated revenues that we can use to track the progress of this goal. And under Metric Type, there's an option for Count or Amount. Now Count basically means that it will count how many goals have revenue selected as the goal metric, where Amount will give you an actual value. So I'm going to keep it as Amount, and then I will save and close. Back on this form, you are also required to select a manager, and I will keep it as myself. Now for time period, I'm going to keep it for the fiscal year, and I will keep it for the third quarter because my goal is also set for the third quarter. You also have an option to select a custom period for the goal by using the calendar dropdown when custom period is selected. Lastly, I need to set a target amount for this goal, and then I will save the file. Before I close this goal, I'm going to recalculate my amounts and then select Actuals. Right now there is no values attached to this goal because it hasn't been activated, but once I do that and revenue is starting to be brought in, these values will change. Now I will save and close. Then to activate the goal, I will first select the goal and then click Activate. And then here I'm going to click Activate again. From here we can see information about the goal, such as the percentage achieved, the target, or even the goal metric. And that is how you can create a goal.